What's going on guys, I am back with another COD Zombies video and in today's video this is going to be the top 5 things I absolutely love about custom zombies. I think everyone here loves custom zombies so much and since we're close to getting it for Black Ops 3 on the PC, not only on the PC but possibly also on the consoles, I'll think about, I thought about going through five things that I like and dislike about it. Yes, there are some things I dislike about it, which may get a little, lot of people angry, but we'll save that for another time. But right now, let's get into the five things I love about custom zombies. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like button down below and let's get into the video. So at the number five spot, we have map remakes. Now I'm not just talking about zombie maps like King of the Totem, putting all the perks on, old perks on, and some weapons, and all that. I mean, not just m old m zombies maps, but also multiplayer maps. Like, for example, we've got Slums, Hijacked. I don't know if we have a fire raid map, actually. I know Slums, Summer, hi Hijacked, how about High then? Um, Standoff, all those classic zomb- not zombie maps, what am I going for? Multiplayer maps that people love. But I think the main thing about this came about when Nuketown Zombies was made and then people thought about making multiplayer maps into Zombies maps as well. And it was a pretty good idea because like you would just see what would these maps be like zombified and it just looks awesome. Like for example Standoff, that would be a gr that's a great, actually I don't even know if Standoff is a Zombies map, it probably is. Um, but. I bet Standoff will make a great Zombies map because there's that huge freaking statue in the middle. That could be a good training spot. And yeah, I'd say that, I'd say map remakes are pretty good because it lets you put in the detail that wasn't really there in older Zombies maps. And also you can change the multiplayer maps into Zombies maps. And that's why it comes in at number 5. Coming in at the number 4 spot we have custom perks and weapons. I couldn't fit the weapons pod on there as well, but I'll just put perks on it for now. Perks are the more important thing because we can put, get perks like Point Crusher, Guardian Angel Ale, Banana Colada, all the stuff like that, all the good perks. And, it, and I, I could even ask a modder to mod my perk into a game, like these well, yeah, my perk, or anyone else's that I did for the perk ideas video. But, um, that's not just it. Also, weapons, like, there's like a Dragon's Breath kind of, like, weapon I saw before. I think it's a mod. So this could be a mod video as well, as well as custom zombies, but I think you need mods to do custom zombies. I'm not sure. I haven't f figured it out yet. But... Uh, just custom weapons that can be really innovative and custom perks which everyone would love to see uh, comes in at number four. Coming in at number three spot we have other guns which obviously I'm talking about guns like multiplayer only guns like the ACR or the UMP45 well they're not really multiplayer only they're more of just in, not in zombies because they're modern warfare guns Stuff like in other games like Ghosts, Modern Warfare, of course I started with the, probably the worst title people say. <laughs> um, Ghosts, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and all that. And they could put those guns in zombies. And not even just old COD guns, but old Battlefield guns, Far Cry guns, Halo guns. They could just basically code them into the, into the maps. And people could play zombies with the guns they love. So, for example, I could get, like I said, I could get the ACR in a zombies map, and it'll be all good. It'll be all good. I'd love that. Thank you. And um, this may, this thing may appear on a different video, but I'll leave that for now. Other guns allows you to be like creative and see the guns you want to see in zombies that you never could see before, and it comes in at number three. Number one and two are kind of the same in regard, but coming in at the number two spot, we have huge maps. Like everyone's saying like Call of the Dead is huge, Sh Shadows of Evil is huge, freaking um, Zetsubo is huge. I swear, compared to freaking some maps in Custom Zombies, 
They are literally not done totem. They are they are not done, not even that, they're shipment. That's even more worth. Um some maps are really huge in custom zombies, and I think that's a really good thing for me. Because huge maps tend to have a lot of detail. A hell of a lot of detail. Which we're gonna see a bit later. Uh, but huge maps also give like a lot of fun to like open doors, discover easter eggs and a lot more get played space basically. And that's why it comes in at number two. And coming in at number one spot, I've probably already said this but a lot of detail. And what I mean by a lot of detail is features such as I said before, custom perks. And like I said with huge maps, the bigger the map, the more likely you're going to have um, a lot of detail on it. Um, it's like all this stuff, like, for example, that saloon map with 23 perks. It may be a box map, but it has a lot of perks, which in my opinion is a lot of detail. Um, what, what other maps would have a lot of detail? Um, Leviathan, that has a lot of detail. And the same with like Nocturne and Totem 2025, I believe it's called. That has a lot of detail because it's basically not and Totem, but remastered to get a lot of detail to have a lot of detail. You could that say, oh that's not a custom zombies map then But think about it, the the modder has uh, the modder and map creator have gone out of their way to make the Nato and Totem setting look like from transit to make it kind of like more like the 2025 feel and to add in all those perks so basically you can have fun with the perks that you used to love on a map you still love and that's and when a map has a lot of detail I'd say it's it's gonna be a great map it's regardless of how useful it is or not it's it would be good to have a lot of detail in a zombies map because i'd say it makes the replayability very 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 high and it comes in at number one so that is going to be the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you enjoyed please leave a like button down below and comment your favorite thing about custom zombies in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe for more Call of Duty Top 5s, or any Top 5s that man. I haven't been streaming for like two days now because I've I've had to sort out some problems with like real life people unfortunately. <laughs> I'm wishing it didn't have to come to that but unfortunately adult life is that. Um, I will be doing a double Top 5 so I will be doing Top 5 things I don't like about custom zombies tomorrow so you can find out what I don't like about custom zombies like I say in this video regardless of what I say in that custom zombies video tomorrow I still love the hell out of custom zombies despite what happens in the next video I would still love custom zombies all the way it's just that you can't deny that there's some stuff about even the things you love the most like for example people say Doris is the best zombies map ever but everyone's got to admit, everyone's got to admit, it, it's, it has its downfalls. And so yeah, that is the video. If you do, make sure you subscribe. I think I've already said that. But I'll see you guys in the next one.